Hey, welcome back, everyone. Uh, I'm sure most of you have noticed that we have a new computer sitting on our desk that looks something like this right here. Um, just wanted to go over one really cool feature that is available to you on this computer. It's located right in the top center. It's a little webcam. It's got a nice little lighting on it. Um, if you type in right here, and this is how you can kind of see me right now because I'm using the webcam, so I already have it up and running. But if you type in D E L L Dell web and then you can already see you've got the Dell webcam central with a little icon right there go ahead and click on that and when you do this program right here will open up and it'll pop up down here in your taskbar so if you want to be able to find it again easily which right here is what it looks like right click on it and hit mine says unpin yours would say pin this program um, to the taskbar Pin it right there, and it'll always be right there. It's readily available to you. And you might be thinking, what in the hell am I going to do with this thing? Well, there are a lot of stuff that you can do with it. One, I use it for uh, subplans oftentimes, uh, you know, so that I can speak directly to my students over my projector. I just leave my computer on, and I have the sub bring it up and play it. Um, and I can give some instructions or maybe just a nice reminder that says, hey, you know, be nice to the sub. I'm going to be out for the day, whatever it might be. Sometimes it's really nice to have, you know, your face up on the screen. Uh, some other cool things you can do with this, though, is you, you can uh, create some different uh, looks to the overall um, video. Now, this right here, I'm not arguing, is a great look, you know, necessarily. Oh, look, I'm on fire. You know, that's kind of cool. But depending, I mean, maybe you're doing a science lab and you're talking about something that burns. I don't know. Um, black and white. It's just kind of nice there. I could use that. Um, hey, look, everybody, I found out I'm not Siamese twin. Wait, so if I go down low, I figured this one out, and then I come up. I'm a cone head. How you doing? Or maybe I'm a drawing. I hate being a drawing, though. So I go over here because I hate being a drawing so much. And, oh, my face effects still are not lighting up right on here. But you can see the steam coming out of my ears because I hate being a drawing so much. Um, take those back off. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, you have some options in there. I mean, uh, some pretty cool things. I mean, I've really enjoyed uh, having hair for the last couple of days. It's been nice. I do like the bangs on this particular cut here. But my preferable one here is the uh, Mad Scientist one because uh, it's just easier to work with. So, anyways, you have some features over here, some things that you can do. Um, you can see that mine's not working entirely right now, but, you know, you can be Nemo if you want to be. Um, you can be a karate instructor. Well, in your face. Underwater stuff. I found a little treasure down there. Uh, ooh, football. Like this one. Moving fast. Moving fast. Dodging. Oh! Shoot. There we go. Scored a touchdown. So, yeah, you can find some different ways to work with things. You know, like I like being, you know, a surfboard person, but then again, you go right back to just being yourself. You also have some other effects, like if you'd like to be a kitty cat, like I am right now. Hello, I'm a kitty cat. Or another kind of a kitty cat. It doesn't work so great, but it does kind of work. It could be a baby. I like being a baby. I am a baby. Uh, it could be an alien. Aliens are pretty cool. So you can see we've got you know, a lot of options in here. It could be a skull if you'd like to. <laughs> Hello, I'm a skull. A really sad skull. Go down here, play with the emoticons. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what the emoticons are doing since... Uh, you know, your skull, you don't have all the facial features. Blow a few kisses. Oh, I'm not feeling so well. So anyways, there you go. There's all that wonderful stuff. And then you just click back on this. You're right back to where you were. If you want to get rid of any of those effects right up there, you can do that. You can upload this to your YouTube account. You can post these things right out to Facebook um, and a number of other areas on here, too. I haven't figured out how to add in, like, a Twitter or something like that. Um, you can also, when you're done with them, email them, but I haven't had any luck doing that yet. But let's say we're done with this particular one here. Um, and so, actually, what we would do is we would hit record, and we'd actually be recording. But I'm using another utility to record with, so sorry about that. And then you're done with your recording, and it pops it up right down here, and you're like, oh, I'd like to test that out. And there you go, you can test that out. Now you can see, like, oh, I'd like to email this to someone. Well, I've tried this several times, and it won't send an email through directly yet. I'm not sure why, but it does pop up with your Outlook. Um, right on there and you know type in an, in an email and send it off and supposedly it'll work but none of them have went through yet and I'm not sure why because I know they're plenty small enough to fit through a filter anyway so what I did is I just went into my YouTube account hit log in there's that hit this um, I make them private myself hit upload 
Please don't. Oh yeah, I gotta enter some details. Um, wonderful video. There we go. Uh, we'll call it education. Dell webcam. Set it private. Upload it. It's uploading the file. Uh, it usually doesn't take you very long to do this. And then this little handy dandy link comes up. Um, you know, view videos on YouTube. Again, if you have a YouTube account, which is very easy to make, then it'll pop you right to your YouTube account, and you can see. Um, where the video is being processed and from there I'll show you how you would do this because actually the video is ready to go you know if you wanted to email this to yourself or email it out to somebody or whatever it might be um, you would just hit uh, so you let it play through I'm sorry one time and then your options come up here's your share and it'll ask you you know share this video yeah that's what I want to do and you could just copy and paste that what I like to do is I like to hit the embed Copy this, go to my email. I already had it up, sorry. Compose. You can use your Outlook Express. It's all the same. Paste that right there. I just hit Control V, so that pastes things. Uh, and I'll send this to myself just so you can see what it would look like. So now, and, and it popped right there. And it looks like this initially. Uh, generally, hit that link right there. It'll take you right back to the YouTube. There you go. There's my silly little video. So anyways, that's how you would do that. I'm just going to delete this out of here because it's not something I actually want to just delete. Okay, and minimize the screen here. So this is all done, and I've got a video down here. Now, if I don't like that video, I can delete that video and say, yes, go away, and click yes, and delete that one because I don't need that one either. And then close this right up here. I'm right back on the screen again talking to you. I know, it's kind of irritating. You can also use it for doing snapshots if you have um, set up, uh, like maybe you set up a new Twitter account and you want a picture of yourself to put on there. Right there you go, take the picture. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look, it's me. Okay. And then you can copy that too. You can email it out, you know, my photos and videos. So there's a lot of options that you can do um, with your picture here. But So anyways, this thing here, snapshots records video, saves your videos, you can upload them to YouTube, you can throw them out to Facebook if you would like, you can email them to one another. And again, you can use this for student projects maybe. You could use it for creating sub plans that are audio video sub plans. Um, so, so a lot of options with this, something worth thinking about. So for what it's worth, there's your Dell Webcam Central. Remember, just go down to your Perl button, your Start button, type in Dell Webcam Central. I probably don't have to type it all in. There you go, Dell Wii, and you get Dell Webcam Central. Just click on that. Up pops this program. Make sure up on the top of your screen, you'll see a little slide button. I'm flicking it on and off right now. That's your lens cover. And it'll open that up, and then you can see yourself. Right click, pin it to your screen. You're good to go. Okay? So, anyways, for what it's worth, welcome back, everybody. Woohoo!